Hey folks, Alan from MindVisionMedia.net. This one is going to be a brief review of the new responsive theme update, version 1.9.3.5. All right. Um, basically, we're dealing with the responsive theme, as I mentioned, and this is my current um, version, the latest version. I did go ahead and update to the new version 1.9.3.5 um, and the reason I'm doing this uh, brief tutorial is I've gotten quite a few questions and requests from folks regarding the new update. Uh, there are some issues and support threads out there dealing with child themes not working after the update or the loss of formatting up to after the update and I'm going to address those issues and talk a little bit about the update and how it impacts your child theme. So as I mentioned I am running the current theme as the responsive theme this is the default and I have updated already with the new latest update okay and what we're going to test today is whether or not my child theme is going to work this is my responsive child theme and if I click on details you can see this version is 1.9.3.4 so I have not updated the child theme and so let's just take uh, one last look at the de default setup that I have um, I have done some modifications I do a lot of demo uh, video stuff and uh, I install um, a lot of different themes and what have you on my local machine. Um, this is my local installation of WordPress. So disregard any color modifications or anything you see that might be different. This is the default. I've just made some modifications, okay, from previous tutorials. All right, so moving ahead, this is how the default installation looks. And we're going to switch over to my child theme activate that responsive child theme that is now the current theme and let's go back over to the site and refresh and it looks slightly different that is the way I have my child theme set up all right and you can notice some changes um, for this demonstration I changed the color of the sidebars and the colophon widgets on most pages but on the home page the widgets and colophon widgets are a different color. So that was from a previous tutorial. Disregard that. That's why that looks different. But take it from me, this is my child theme. And it appears to be working fine. Now, what the update addresses uh, in part is the use of the at import URL um, request that it's part of the child theme header for your child theme CSS file. Those of you who are familiar with child themes or are working on a child theme or have used child themes before, you're familiar with this at import URL. For those, those of you who aren't, what this does uh, in the child theme is it tells the browser to reference the parent themes directory for the default style.css for everything that wasn't modified in the child theme. So what happens in the child theme is the browser looks at the child theme CSS first and then it looks at the parent theme CSS second. And that's what this line of code does. So the new update version 1.9.3.5 for the responsive theme um, they're, they're using a different code structure. So they're using a link tag instead of the at import URL method. Okay, and the reason being is this apparently or supposedly speeds up your page load time. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into that, of course, like how many videos you have on your page or how many pictures or is it just text? Do you have a lot of ads? You know, there's a lot of a lot of factors involved, but this apparently speeds up the loading time for your website. 
um, if you're running it on a child theme. Um, and what it tells the browser in uh, simple terms it basically is number one link to my responsive child theme style CSS first talking to the browser browser I want you to look at my child theme style CSS first and then second I want you to look at my parent theme style sheet uh, CSS file for the rest of the formatting. This is basically in a hierarchy so what's on top is first, what's below it is second and so as it talks to the browser it tells the browser to do this first and then do this next and that's how we get our website to work in WordPress using a child theme. So instead of it being inclusive in the child theme header um, this information which tells the uh, browser to look at this style sheet first and then telling the browser here again to look at the parent theme style CSS second you now use these links here and I have two sets and I keep all this stuff in text files um, so that I can reference them, show you stuff on these videos, and speed up the process instead of writing all this stuff out over and over. But for you, um, you know, get used to pausing the video and writing these codes out. Um, it's only going to help you. This is common stuff, and you're going to use it over and over and over again. But do make a copy of this stuff in a file or keep a file of your own for reference, and that way you can always get your uh, your links and codes and um, short codes and what have you and uh, it just helps organize and speed up your design process all right so anyway I, I have two sets of links here and be that's um, because I have like I said earlier a local installation of WordPress and when you're working on a local installation you're going to use backslashes basically and if you notice these slashes are reversed okay um, if you're on the server, on the web, um, you would go ahead and use the normal forward slashes um, in constructing your, your links and tags. Alright, so basically in this case, we're going to use these two right here. I'll go ahead and just copy all that. I have them numbered um, for this demonstration, but they don't need to be numbered in your CSS, your child theme CSS file. So we're going to go to the server, and here's where all my themes are located on my local installation. I have the responsive default, and I have the responsive child. Okay, we're going to open up that responsive child theme folder, and it has its own CSS. We're going to open that, and here's that at import URL, okay, that I was just talking about. That is the previous method. It's worked, and what they're saying is that that causes your page to load slowly. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to paste in those new methods. I'm going to get rid of the number one and all that stuff. Like I said, we don't need that. Okay. So now what it's telling the browser is to look at the child theme CSS first and then after that look at the parent theme style sheet CSS okay so let's go ahead and save that and go back to the site and refresh and you saw a little movement um, nothing changed for the site though uh, it's still the child theme child theme is still working I'll refresh again and nothing changes very fast page load because I'm lo I'm on a local installation once again so I really can't notice that big of a difference in page load um, since I'm on a local installation but like I said there are many dynamics that go into that such as if you have a lot of video or images on your page uh, bandwidth you know um, is it the peak hours on the internet I mean there's so many you know issues that could affect your page load time but um, this will apparently talk to the browser in a much more clear, straightforward way and deliver your content. So what we've checked out today is one of the main issues that people are having with the new update. 
uh, I just activated my child theme so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and activate the default and again here's the details version 1.9.3.5 which is the latest update from CyberChimps for the responsive theme okay there's a lot of concern a lot of folks are worried about breaking their site losing their child theme losing their formatting um, with this particular update and it does have some issues so there you know there is good reason for concern and that's why I'm doing this video to um, walk through the process and find you know any problems that may uh, may affect you and show you how to deal with them so I've reactivated the default with a new update okay we're gonna go back to the site and we're gonna refresh and it's gone back to the default installation um, with the latest update okay so basically what we've discovered in the child theme CSS okay issues have been with the style sheet not working after the update so we're in our responsive child theme we're in our responsive child theme style CSS file and this is the area of concern or the area that may impact your site and what I'm finding is some folks are just not um, creating these links properly um, you may uh, you know mess something up and as you have probably already discovered if you're new um, if you leave out just one little symbol or put an extra symbol in a lot of this code, uh, this CSS, PHP, um, you will break the code. Okay, so basically everything has to be perfect. So once again, we're going from the old method. Okay. To the new method okay and I'm just going to go ahead and change this to the parent theme name okay and I'm going to get back to the default method by erasing those new tag links which is what they suggest using now I'm going to go ahead and save that and now we're on our default theme okay so we're going to switch back to our child theme and refresh and both methods work Okay, so I'm not really finding an issue with the update as it relates to the child theme as long as you have your proper code in here. Now this method may cause your site to load slowly or your site might be loading slower than it could uh, is what they're saying or what I'm understanding from the information I did find on the update. Incidentally, when you try to get details on the latest update, you kind of get bounced around by CyberChimps. Um, there's some dead links, um, and then they switch you over to um, a couple of websites, and one of them discusses this new child theme tag link method. All right, so that's one of the issues. The other issue I'm finding is that folks are not using a child theme to begin with and they're losing their formatting with the new update which is basically um, that's what's going to happen with WordPress um, and, and it's not just this update or this version in previous versions as well if you're not using a child theme and you modify the parent theme and then you update the theme all your modifications get erased with the new files so throughout my tutorials if you've been following me I constantly recommend either using a child theme or if you don't want to use a child theme at least make copies of your files before and after that way you have a backup you can fall back on the default and you can you also have a copy of the 
version that you edited and modified. All right, so that's just good practice uh, with web design, period. Um, uh, so in case something happens, you know, crash, your server goes down, your WordPress logs you out, you, you have to reinstall WordPress, whatever, you run an update, you can put your child theme back up there and uh, keep all your modifications, okay? So it's like, an, it's, it's redundancy, but it's, that's what insurance is, all right? So as far as working on websites and working with WordPress, you need some insurance, and that's what you need to do, back up your stuff. Um, so a child theme is used for that purpose. Um, so all in all, uh, if you're losing your formatting and your child theme is not working, it's probably something to do with either this link method, which they have recommendations now for doing it slightly different, which I'll have these codes and everything uh, available for download for my members on my website. Otherwise, pause the video and write these links out. You don't need the numbers, okay? but you do need everything from here there and you need two of them <clears throat> the first one tells the browser to look at the child theme the second one tells the browser to look at the parent theme okay so an easy way to do it and where you get this address is from your old child theme title add import URL just copy that URL okay and paste it here. Okay, once you do, once you do that, then copy this whole thing, paste it again. Okay, and now just change the name to your child theme uh, directory. All right, and you still want to point to the style CSS file. All right, so I hope that explains a little bit about the new update. It's not really that bad. Um, you just have to make sure your your link tag is structured correctly and you have it in the proper order and also if you're losing your formatting and stuff uh, hopefully you have some backup copies otherwise get into that habit of backing up your edits and modifications and or using a child theme alright so if you have any questions um, contact me at mindvisionmedia.net and Hopefully, you'll be able to uh, complete the process without any any uh, issues. But, like I said, if you do have any issues, contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.